What is up everyone, it is John from Random Chivos again, and today I would like to go over how to get the Ballistic Weave modification that you can apply to certain outfits that will give you an incredible amount of energy and physical damage resistance. Also, this does have a few requirements you will need to accomplish for. You will have to have found the railroad first and completed a few main quests before that will allow you to go into their headquarters. The quests required are Road to Freedom where you must actually find the railroad itself and speak to Desdemona for the first time. Next would be Tradecraft and this is where you will meet Deacon somewhere in the wasteland and find a prototype for the doctor among other little things. Be prepared though if you haven't completed this quest already it can be quite long and I think it's probably the longest one within the game itself. Lastly you will have to return back to the HQ and give Dr. Carrington the prototype and upon doing so will prompt a mission called Boston After Dark and all you have to do here is secure the rendezvous point. Once that mission is complete, you will notice an Assaultron walking around the headquarters. Her name is Pam and she will actually be the one that gives you the next mission, Mercer Safe House. Now this mission does have a random location depending on the settlements you haven't found yet, but the objective is all the same, so keep that in mind. After you must go speak to Pam once again and she will give you another mission called Jackpot Medford Memorial Hospital. All you have to do is find the secret room which will be guarded by some super mutants and then the mission will be complete once you have talk to Pam again. To sum things up, the missions you will have to complete are Road to Freedom, Tradecraft, Boston After Dark, Mercer Safe House, and Jackpot Medver Memorial Hospital. After you have done all of those missions, you can go on to the next part. Now this is where you will have to find an NPC named the Drummer Boy and he will be located wandering around the HQ. He looks quite different than the rest of the NPCs and he'll be wearing a blue outfit and a cap. He will give you a line of dialogue saying to go to talk to Tinker Tom about the device you had found earlier. And once you have done that, go of course go look for Tinker Tom and he's going to be the weird looking dude that you had talked to during the main missions. He will either be wandering around or on the floor sleeping but it all depends on if it's night time or not. Now to ensure you get the mod, Tom actually needs to speak a line of dialogue talking about the ballistic. I'm not sure if this is a random event or some sort of dialogue option you must click. Mine however activated after I spoke to him for a full line of dialogue and we finished the conversation and then I came back and then the first thing he said was about the ballistic. Tom also will sell apparel afterwards if you notice that are include items such as military fatigues, lab coats, and many more items that you can already come equipped with ballistic level 1. These also give you a good selection of outfits you can choose from for whatever might fit your character best once you have upgraded the ballistic to the max. Now that we have finally earned our ballistic mod, we can actually apply it to an outfit and get some use out of it. Keep note that this ballistic mod really only works on clothing that will go underneath your armor. Armor pieces itself cannot have this mod applied. Also, most pieces of clothing actually won't fit underneath your separate armor. I did, however, find that the military fatigues work great even with other armor pieces on top of it. I'm sure there are more outfits in the wasteland that will, or you can simply use mods on a PC to allow you to wear anything underneath your armor. It can also be applied to the battered fedora, which makes for a great combo wearing an outfit and a hat to create double the resistance on your character. The fedora can be either located at the Charles View Amphitheater, this place is kind of like a cult, and I killed everyone there so you will have to do the same, or it can be purchased from Myrna in Diamond City. Regarding the ballistic mod itself, it will require science perk to be maxed out if you want to fully upgrade your armor along with the respected level required. There are five tiers to this mod, each earning you an additional increase to damage resistance and energy, starting at 30 and then making its way up to 110 which is really insane to have on one piece of uh, clothing. Now regarding the materials needed for these upgrades, you will need adhesive, ballistic fiber, and fiberglass. Adhesive can be bought in Diamond City by the vendor Murna along with many objects around the wasteland it can be found. Ballistic fiber is a bit trickier to find and only appears in military items such as military duct tape or military ammo bag. It can also be purchased however from Tegan at the Pride Win or Cleo in Good Neighbor. Fiberglass is a more common item around the wasteland as well but can be purchased by visiting Deb in Bunker Hill if needed. Well that is basically everything you need to know on how to obtain this awesome new modification. Please leave any comments below on some apparel you might have found around the wasteland that works best for your build and earned you more resistance than mine. I know the Courser outfit earned around 140 but it wouldn't allow me to attach armor pieces so I found it useless as an outfit. So I hope you guys found this video helpful in some form or way and if you did please leave a like and I will be sure to create more armor related videos in the near future. So thanks for watching and as always have a wonderful day.